The Lafayette City Council takes a final vote on an ordinance that allows for more enforcement on how historic homes look. And as Nicole Kahn reports, not everyone is pleased with the outcome. The ordinance regulates changes to the exterior of historic homes. If an owner wants to renovate the building, the owner must first get approval from the Historic Preservation Commission. Those who make unauthorized changes could be fined. The changes only apply to the city's five local historic districts. Sandy Lahr owns a historic home on 9th Street Hill and approves of the requirements. This does give a little bit more enforcement and uh, teeth to it, uh, and I, I think that that's needed. It is still the one thing that the historic neighborhoods have that helps with the stability and the integrity of the neighborhoods. Isla Solomon disagrees. She too says she owns a historic home, but hers is not located in a local historic district. She has made several changes to windows, siding, and her roof. She believes these updates save money and energy. Homes that are not improved on the outside tend to use a lot more energy. The Historic Preservation Commission says changes to the outside of historic homes are allowed. The commission would help guide renovations so the homes retain their historic looks. Sandy Lahr served on the review board for changes and says keeping a home historic doesn't mean spending unnecessary money. Several times we found actually cheaper ways to do it that was more efficient than some of the so-called quick fixes. But Solomon says what worked for the homes when they were first built doesn't always work in modern times. Property owners should be able to make changes regardless of the review board's opinion. Architecture is nice, but energy is important too. The council unanimously passed the ordinance. Nicole Kahn, News Channel 18. The council also unanimously passed two other ordinances on first reading. The first is a responsible bidder ordinance that outlines guidelines for any company that bids on public projects. Tree trimmers must also buy a $25 license to prune trees on public property.